take on a Raptors team that you very memorably beat a couple weeks ago up in Toronto, other than the shot, which was probably the highlight of the night. You guys played really well. What did you guys take away from that game heading into tonight? Uh, the way we came out with energy and played, uh, we were locked in defensively, you know, our coverages, and uh, a lot of guys came out and was playing with confidence, shooting the ball, and um, we had 32 assists that game. So I feel like we moved the ball like that and played for one another. We got a good chance. In the start of the second string point guard on this team for a few weeks now, how do you feel like you've grown since taking over the position from Tony to now? How do you feel like you've gotten better as an NBA player? Uh, I feel like the game is just slowing down a little bit, uh, not rushing as much, uh, just trying to make the right plays as always. And, um, yeah, just playing with a lot more confidence. You have one of the best assist to turnover ratios in the league right now. I think it's something that's kind of got lost in your game is you're very good with the ball. You don't turn it over. What is kind of the key to being so careful in that area? And why, why are you so good? Uh, it's just all about knowing your personnel, knowing when to pass the ball, uh, reading the defenses. Um, you know, we run a lot of pick and roll, so uh, you just got to be able to read your weak side and make the right plays. You guys won't have Cody again tonight. It sounds like Marvin's going to be out. What's it going to take to kind of pick up another win against this Raptors team? Very physical team and, and kind of take advantage in the rebounding areas and stuff that you did well up in Toronto. Yeah, just that. We got to play physical, come out and match their energy, uh, play with even more energy than, they, than they're than going to play with, and um, keep shooting that ball, keep moving it, and I feel like we'll be good. Ball movement's critical, especially when you take Kemba out of the game in the third to rest him to come into the fourth. And that's something that really kind of throws defenses off because they concentrate so much on Kemba. Is there a purpose to that? Uh, I mean, he got to come out at some point, get some rest. You know, he can't play the whole game. But uh, when we come in as that second unit, we just got to stay solid, not turn the ball over, like Coach always tells us. Uh, shoot it with confidence, move it, second, third side, and, you know, defense is a breakdown. Four-game road trip out on the West Coast. Ended in a positive. What does this team kind of take away from that last game against the Pelicans heading into uh, your second-to-last home game of the year? Yeah, I think uh, we played good in New Orleans. Uh, obviously, all those good feelings. Uh, we played good defense. We played together um, I think we, ha we should carry over that to, to this game especially playing at home finally after that long road trip um, it's good to be back home uh, you know can't wait to to play tonight had, had another opportunity to play against our uh, with our fans and um, keep, keep fighting for the playoffs you guys 12 days ago had a very memorable win up in Toronto with Jeremy Lamb hitting that shot but you guys played really well overall in that game you out rebounded them on the offensive boards by 11 what was kind of the key to to giving so many extra opportunities on the offensive end I see I think we should have the same mentality um, the same mentality we start uh, the last the last game against Toronto. Uh, we play hard, we hustle, we play, we fight for those 50-50 balls, and the defense it was uh, extremely hard. Uh, we help each other, and then we rush the floor. Obviously, uh, Lambo make a big shot, um, but I take another win making another shot like this. Obviously, individual on their team, you're very close with Marcus Saul. How influential has he been in your career, especially playing on the Spanish national team together? Yeah, he's obviously a player uh, since I work in that I, I look up to. Um, you know, he's a, I try to learn as much as I can from both Mark and, and Pau. Uh, obviously, my relationship with, with Mark is, is great. And uh, for me, playing against Spanish players, you know, obviously, again, a center like, like Mark, one of the best in the league, is extra motivation for this game. And uh, can't wait to play against him, try to box him out, fight with him, and, and, and try to win the game. Lastly, in order to get this win tonight, you guys are not going to have Marvin, you're not going to have Cody. be a little thin up in the, the front court. What's it going to take to pull out another win against this Raptors team, who's you know one of the best teams in the league right now? Yeah, I think, I think we're ready. Obviously, uh, we miss with me. We miss Cody, we miss Marv. Um, but I think the other guys, we got to step up, you know, try to help each other, try to uh, play our uh, strengths and uh, just play together and we were good. I took on Toronto. The highlight of the night was Jeremy's big shot. But what did you guys do to put yourself in position to be there right at their end? Yeah, I thought we competed for 48 minutes. And I think on the road against a good team, you got to play for 48 minutes. I think we did. Got off to a good start. Uh, and I think we sustained it. Our ball movement was probably one of our best games of the season. Uh, the number of passes for that game, the number of assists, I think 32 assists. We made shots, we made threes. Uh, we got out, we ran, we moved them side to side. We're going to have to do that again here tonight. A lot of extra possessions in that game. I think 11, plus 11 in offensive rebounding. Was there any kind of key? Was it just being physical? Was it just being in the right place, kind of getting those extra, uh, extra shots up? Well, partly we were missing a lot of shots early, so it was kind of out of necessity. Uh, I think, yeah, in the first half, uh, the offensive rebound really sustained us. You know, we, we did not shoot the ball well in the first half, but great effort on the board. Um, guys were digging it out, trying to get us uh, second possessions. Uh, we got to win the rebounding game again tonight. They're a big physical team, a tough team on the interior, but I expect our guys to battle and compete on the interior tonight. Do you anticipate Marvin 
and or Cody playing anymore this season? You know, both right now are day to day. So, you know, as I get updates every day, we just move forward. You know, I, I don't know what to expect, you know, right now. I just take my daily report and uh, figure out who's on the court that day and we move forward. Um, obviously, we'd love to have both back. Um, we could use those guys, you know, any day now, but uh, when they're ready, they'll be ready. You started MKG, obviously, in place of Marvin last game. Will he start again tonight? And then, if so, what do you like about him with that starting group, I guess? MKG, you know, he is going to start. Um, you know, he just gives us a physicality, um, a presence out there on, you know, defensively. I think he and Biz did a good job anchoring our defense early in New Orleans. Um, it limits us a little bit offensively, you know, in some of our spacing and rotations. Um, but the number one thing you get out of MKG is just competitiveness. And I think we need that against this Raptors team. Just come out, compete, uh, hit first mentality, and MKG does that for us.